friends, my name is Ron Segal. Welcome back to Flux and to another video. And I wanna show you the best five websites that I've seen during the last four months. Hopefully it'll give you an idea, inspiration about what's going on in web design, what's trending, what's possible with the latest technologies. Let's dive right into it. The first website is this one for this agency, which is called Leonard. And this one's got so many subtle and nice interactions. The first thing I want you to notice is that we've got this background, this gradient background that's actually moving. Notice this kind of like radial background, this red thing here, and it's actually moving slowly through the screen. I really love lately these gradients, which are not kind of like the normal linear gradients, but kind of like weird shapes of gradients. I think it's really, really cool. The fact that it's slowly moving in the background, very, very, very cool. Now note here, you can't really scroll. They actually want you to pick out from these two questions, why are we an inventive agency and why not a creative agency? And you can notice that as I move my mouse around, the the circle here indicating which one I wanna pick is kind of following around. And if I'll try to scroll, it will kind of like tell me, hey, you should probably pick one of these two questions or answers. So I'm gonna click here and then continue into the next one. Now, as we scroll here, we've got this animation here um, that's kind of like following us as we as we scroll and we read the text here. Now this is not like we've seen a lot of scrolling animation where it's kind of like a Lodi animation which is basically just like an after effect that's triggering or rolling as you scroll through the page. But this is not, this is actually like a 3D animation rendering here in the background. And you can see that just by, if I move my cursor around, you can see that it's actually changing its rotation. So it means that it's not just like a flat after effect um, animation, it's actually like 3D rendering in the background, really, really cool effect. Also like the, the way that the colors are interacting. I think this is really, really cool. So this experience kind of goes around, you can keep reading about their approach here. Obviously they're an agency, so you can keep watching their case studies. But notice here, even when you roll over this case study, the hover situation is actually the letters flipped upside down. There's really nice subtle things here, but it really shows how creative they are and I really love their, their approach. Um, of course, you can dive more into the case studies and so forth. Uh, but we're not gonna watch that. So those are the things that I really liked about this website. Next one that I wanna show you is actually very, very subtle and minimalist. This is um, a website for ref reflexology, <laughs> I guess a guy that does massages or medical massages. And what I like about this is first of all, this is not a cliche, you know, usually when you have websites that are either medical or related to massages and stuff like that, you have a very cliche of the color palette. It's also usually very kind of like pastel-y kind of things. But here they chose to go with black and white and which really takes this to a different direction, right? This is not how you would usually go to look at like a medical, um, procedure or something that has to do with, you know, health and, and wellness kind of thing. But I do think that they've went with a very, very minimalistic choices here. There's only black and white, black and white photography and black and white type. And yet they've made this look so premium and so fantastic really with, there's nothing else here, right? There's no, uh, animations or there, there's no illustrations here. It's just very, very well-selected typeface, right? And the combination of this new serif uh, technical font, I would call this, uh, together with a very, very solid plain sans serif font here. And just this combination with great layouts, very simple, great black and white imagery really creates an amazing experience. Even the way that you're like scrolling through the different options or services here. Very, very clean and very, very nice. Just shows you that the power of images with good typography, selecting a good font. If you haven't seen our recent video about choosing great fonts, you should definitely check that out. Um, I think they've done really, really great work. And as I've said, this is surprising just because this is not what you would expect from a website like this. 
All right, the next website that I wanna show you is this one, which is for real-time robotics. Now, this is a company that does, obviously, robotics for industries, I think mainly car manufacturing and stuff like that. But the, what, what I wanna show you here is, I mean, it's got 3D, which we've seen in a bunch of, a lot of websites yet. But what I like about this here is that you've gotta remember, this is a company, again, for industrial robotics. Basically, this is, something very, very technical at the end of the day. But notice, what I want you to notice here is the art direction, the way that they're actually framing these robots, right? Yes, this is our 3D rendering, but they're putting them up on pedestals as if this is something like from a museum, right? They've created this art direction to take something that is very, very mechanical and potentially boring and turn this into something that is almost like art, right? We turn robotics into art. And I think that this is this is a great storytelling technique here. Um, they also have here, so the old way, notice these something very dirty and this poor robot here working on their own and I can just switch this around and you can see that now we've got everything clean and, and nicely and all these robotics work together. So basically this is what they're selling, this kind of machine that helps the robots work together. Um, but again, notice how this goes from something dirty into something very artistic, these colorful, you know, dust speckles on these cubes. This is a really, really subtle art direction point that make it so beautiful. Um, and I like, I like how they took this, again, seemingly boring thing, but with the right use balance of a palette with a lot of white and then colors sprinkled around, turn this into something super, super artistic and uh, and beautiful. So I really like this. Notice now they're the industry, logistic, automotive, electronics, and now how they're using and sprinkling the colors again to bring life into this. I really, really like the approach in the art direction also, one thing that I really loved about this is the menu. Note how the menu is kind of like opening up. It, it looks like a software, like a design software where you move the menu around. Uh, I really like this. I really like also how they framed their team here. So again, sprinkling a lot of color in a place where you don't necessarily see a lot of color is the team page, um, but brings a lot of life into it. And I I really like the way that they randomize the colors here. I think it brings a lot of, you know, the, the, the livelihood into this. Uh, fantastic work. I really like the art direction on this website. The next one is for Netrix. Netrix is an agency from Ukraine that does web design products. I actually, I'm pretty sure I met these guys at one conference, perhaps in Poland or somewhere else. But what I like about this is they've also taken the art direction here into the something that you don't see a lot these days. Now, everything here, we were used to seeing everything so clean and minimalistic, and they actually went through the handmade crafty approach, which we almost don't see today in terms of art direction, right? Having a background that looks like paper, having the, you know, the projects here kind of like stamped like sticky notes on, you know, on the page. We almost don't see this stuff today, um, especially when your clients are against startups and stuff that usually is very clean. I actually really like their approach here um, and how they're framing, again, their project, but the whole art direction and notice how they're building their case study. Again, all the information we need to know, but the art direction and the framing on this little paper looks looks really, really cool and uh, non-traditional, I would say. So I really like the art direction here, how they're telling their story and uh, yeah, really, really cool. Really, really cool art direction. All right, the last one that I wanna show you is this one for, let me actually reload this because I see that the video has, uh, stuck. So this one is called Lay Your House. Now I'm going to shut up for a second. I don't know if you can hear, but there's a video here that's telling you a story. I'm going to mute this. Now, usually I would say that like playing audio from a website is a big no-no and I hate it. You know, I might be listening to my music in the background and when a website takes over the audio, usually I hate it. However, in this one, and this is for kind of a lodge or 
a resort in Kenya, like a natural resort in Kenya. They've used sound in a very, very interesting way to put you in the atmosphere. And again, this is a travel website. They wanna put you in the atmosphere of how it feels like to be there. And this, there's this really calm lady narrating the website for you. So let me show you how this works. First of all, you're immersed in this video telling you about the whole resort. And then you click the explore and you're moving into a complete kind of like 3D experience where you basically can zoom in and out and feel like you're floating below this resort. And when you're gonna click some things, um, like this lodge and see the experience here, and then again, I've muted this, but you can actually see she's actually reading the text back to you. And as I've said, although this can sometimes be annoying, I found that here, it's really helping me to be immersed in the feeling of what they want you to feel if you're going to visit out this lodge. And I really like the way that they've combined. And you can see when you're scrolling here, they're combining imagery with all of a sudden there are videos here and there's little, little crickets. I don't know if you can hear this, like these little crickets and you feel like you're in nature. Just scrolling through this website, you're feeling like you're already there. So. At the end of the day, although I usually hate, oh, and by the way, now this 3D kind of experience of seeing how the lodge is. What usually in most contexts can be very annoying and a very big no, at least from my opinion, in terms of user experience, when used in the proper context, I actually think can really take the experience, you know, into a different level. So. I really like this website because to me it's surprising doing something that I usually hate. Um, let me mute this out right now. Also, notice the little, little difference, uh, the little details here like this. I'm gonna try and zoom here. The border of this image is kind of like, it's not a solid, it's like very, very, it's like craft paper uh, with the edges that are not straight line. These are really, really, fine details that make this look a little more handmade and put you in the atmosphere of like Africa and all the animals. I really, really like the details on this website. All right, let me know which one of these websites was your favorite. If you want us to try and recreate any of these effects and show you how we do this, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure you like this videos for more videos like this and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.